In this program, we're going to learn about kinematics. Kinematics is the mathematical description of motion without any reference to the cause. Kinematics comes from the Greek word kinema, which means motion. Kinematics is a branch of mechanics and the science of describing the motion of objects using words like speed, acceleration, and distance. Kinematics also uses diagrams, numbers, graphs, and equations with the goal to be able to create mental models that describe and explain the motion of objects in the world. The mathematical quantities used to describe motion are divided into two categories. There are scalars, which can describe motion with a numerical value. For example, a person runs 4 miles per hour. The other category is vectors. Vectors use a numerical value and a direction. For example, Cyclist is pedaling 20 miles per hour north. A cyclist is pedaling 20 miles per hour north. Kinematics deals with three factors, displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Let's look at displacement. In this example, an object moves from point A and follows a route to point B. The object has changed its position and traveled five units east and one unit north. This measurement is known as displacement. Displacement is a vector quantity that measures the distance between the points in which an object has traveled. Let's look at velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity that refers to the rate at which an object changes position, or its speed, in a given direction. For example, a train is traveling west at 60 miles per hour. The train has a velocity of 60 miles per hour west. Acceleration is a vector quantity. It is the rate at which an object changes its velocity. Velocity is the unchanging speed of an object. However, if the object does, in fact, change speed, if it slows down, speeds up, or changes direction, then that change in speed is what is called acceleration. It measures the change of velocity. By observing an object's position, velocity, and acceleration, kinematics investigates the motion of objects and can be applied to most circumstances with physics. Now that you better understand kinematics, think about this. What are the practical uses of kinematics? Think about it.